Hi friends, in this video we will see about the ngif directive. So one of the directives, built-in directive present in the Angular ngif directive. What is this ngif directive? ngif directive is used when we want to show the output conditionally in the template. That means, for example, if you go to usercomponent.ts, you will be able to see here, you can write, if you want to write any if condition, you can write if some condition, you will use some condition and you will be able to write the data. Now, what about this in the template? So, in the template, if you want to write any if condition or anything, so we don't have any option to write. We cannot write if some condition like this, we cannot write. So, how can we overcome this one? So, there is a special built-in directive present in Angular that is nothing but ng if directive. Now, we will check the output here. So, right now, I have an output here. No user is created. When I create, when I when I click on add user, then we are getting an option user is created. User is created. Okay. So now my my requirement is when the user is not created. So if any user is not created, I don't want to show this message. When the user when the user clicks on the button or when the user is created only, show me the message that user is created and the username is so and so. Okay, you need to show that one. So my requirement is that one. If you want to show that one, how we can do? So right now I can do, I can remove this one. User is created and the username is, so username. I have that username variable stored in the, I have that, I have that username data stored in that variable. So for that reason, I am directly using this variable. Now here I am showing that user is created and the username is username. Okay, now if I try to check the output here, I am able to see that user is created and the username is test user. But I didn't click any time, uh, but I didn't click the button. So, if, if the user clicks on that button only, then when the user is created only, I need to show this message. So, here if I click only, then I need to show this message. So, that means it should be displayed with the condition. So, depending on the condition that whenever the user clicks on the button, okay. So whenever the user clicks on the button means, so how can you know that the user clicks on the button? So when the user clicked on the button, this method will be executed, okay? You will be able to see here, the method is executing, change, change user created status, okay, fine. I will take this button and here, so I will create one variable, something like is user created. I will make it as false, okay? So I will make it as false. So is user created, by default it is a boolean. So by default it is a false that means whenever the component is created so it is a false that means user is not created correct when the user clicks on that button only i need to make this one is user created is equal to true so i made this use user created is equal to true when the user clicks on that button now here i need to show that this div when this is user created is true only so how can i write that one using star ng if okay so ng if so ng if is a structural directive why because we are using uh, star before this ng if so that's why it is a structural directive structural directive means it changes the structure of the dom so i will show you how it changes the structure of the dom so now ng if is equal to is user created okay so now here we can we can use here property name that means like is user property or otherwise any method name also like change user created status also you can use until and unless it should return a boolean map or either true or false. So, ngif takes either true or false. Okay. Now, I can go to the output here and if I try to check the output. Now, if I create anything. So, right now, no data is visible here. Now, if I click here, we got an uh, output C. User is created and the username is so and so username. Okay. So, Leela, if I create, automatically it is changing C. So, if I click here, it is showing. So, this is how. We can use the ng if directive to show the uh, to show the data conditionally. Now, if you see, I will show you one thing why it is called a structural directive. If I right click here and if I do the inspect element, okay, here if I see the button below this button, so below this button you have the data something like div is there. Below this button, div is there, then after app user is there. But here if you see the output below the button, there is no there is no div. So there is no div. We have some identifier something like commented data is there, it is used for angular reference. So here app user, app user is there. So that means there is no div present here in the DOM. 
now when i click on this one automatically div has been came be, uh, below the button c that means it the ng if changes the structure of the dom so that means new div has been inserted into the dom so that is why it is called as structural directive it changes the structure of the dom so for that reason it is called as a structural directive so for those for those directives which are in structural so we will be keeping this one as a star so that what forever whatever the directives we have star means it is a structural directives so we will learn more about the structural directives in the coming videos and this is how it is inserted in the dom okay this is what this is all about the ng if directive so whenever you want to show the data or any show the show the any elements or any set of element conditionally so you will be using that ng if directive okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so that i will try to give the reply and also if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you